What's up guys and gals? Welcome back to the Nerd Castle. My name is Splattercat. Today in the world of indie games, we're going to be taking a look at Monster Train. This is a deck building strategic roguelike where we are apparently on a train. It's got some twists and whatnot. This is my first impression of the game. So we'll do our best to see what we're, what we're working with here and hopefully become proficient by the end of the run. But who knows? This is apparently our pyre health. There was just a little pop-up before we started that said that we're on a train that's carrying some kind of, like, butt shard and it needs to, like, go to hell or not go to hell. I don't know. Either way, it's important that the train carrying the butt shard makes it all the way to the end of the tracks. What the butt shard does, what it's for, who it's going to, largely irrelevant here. It's all just a construct to keep you playing the game. Alright, so the Heaven's Priests. These disciples have dedicated themselves to the service of Heaven and will attempt to restore the life of their companions. They also dress somewhat stylishly. Yeah, they're they're a little hipstery out here. These guys are a little these guys are a little fancy. They got the mustaches with the with the oils in them. Alright, so we gotta protect our pyre. If it takes too much damage, we die. The butt shard explodes. On this side, enemies have boarded the train. What a bunch of jerks. How did they even pull that off? We're on a moving train right now. Like, what is this, like a cowboy heist? Enemies will enter at the lowest level, and they will move up by one level every turn. If they reach the top, they will attack your pyre. Okay. Summon units to defend your train. Gaze upon my unit. <laughs> Apparently, for Gurg is his battle cry. Uh, it looks like I can also throw fire or something. Yeah, you might as well put that little guy out there too. Uh, let's shoot some, yeah, shoot some, shoot some flames at those dudes right there. Why not? It's a shame that the winged have no horns. Is he gonna try and stab them? Is he? Is that what he's like? A devil who's ripped off his own horns to stab the enemy with? He attacks two times every turn. Oh, that sounds sexy. Let's do that. Once you end your turn, combat will play out automatically. All right, so two damage out, five right there. Ooh, ooh. Aw, oh, dude, they went up to the... Oh, no, dude. I didn't know it was going to work like that. I thought they had to get past us first. You idiots think that, man, you guys are like the equivalent of Saturday morning cartoon villains. You think you could stand in front of the door while you're doing your job instead of like, hold on, let's stand as far away from the door and just hope they don't realize they can skip our content entirely. Like, hold, hold, hold on. Hold on. I'm going to need you guys to relax. Uh, let's go ahead and I'm going to try and put some fire on that guy right there because I want it to die before it gets to the top floor. There you go, perfect. That one's just a healer, so it can go up to the top floor. I don't think it can damage my train anyways. I feel reasonably positive about what we've got going on right now, although I definitely think we could use a few more critters, in all honesty. I definitely think we could use another guy or two. Uh, that should finish that off right there. Restoration is probably a really good idea, so let's do that. Healing that little guy down. I kind of see the nuance of the game that they were going for. I kind of dig it. All right, uh, that's the end of my turn, I suppose. This guy's probably going to make it. Yeah, so we're going to have to do something on that top floor very, very shortly. Luckily, there's only... Oh, there's a big one! Does my hammer frighten you? Yeah, it's quite large, man. It's quite large, and it has a dove on it. That makes me think that in some way you're probably connected to John the Baptist, and I just got the worst hand ever for what I needed. These guys are about to make it to the top floor. That sucks. What is this hand? What even is this deck? Like, who would even build this deck? Why do you need this many heals in one deck? Like, why would you even build this deck? What are you doing? It just, it frustrates me. I don't know who would build something so bad. Oh, he actually, like, fights his way through. So he basically kills everybody that he doesn't get to. Oh, it deals 20 damage. Very nice. Well, apparently our butt shard is more than capable of defending itself. What does freezing that lair do right there? Is that good or is that bad? I'm going to kill him. Yeah, just hit him with those right there. At least we didn't get a full handful of heals, so that was pretty cool. Victory! The butt shard preserves us. All right. So we got 50 bucks right there. We've got a horn break. We've got a fledgling imp. He's kind of adorable. I sort of want him. Yeah, I'm going to take the fledgling imp because he's cute. That's how I decide on everything that I do in life is how cute is it. Uh, deal three damage, move a unit to the front. Yeah, that sounds pretty good. Uh, we definitely need to get more of anything other than heals in this deck. 
the fact that like in our first battle we came up with a hand with five heals in it is just unacceptable like mm -mm, I don't want that uh, we can get a hellhorn unit we can get a merchant of steel so we can get our units new powers right there okay or we can make our spells stronger makes sense makes sense I like it I would like to get a free unit that's what I would ooh this guy Ooh. he costs four energy though I don't think I can even have four energy. I think I have three. It might be smarter to go with the branded warrior. Just a thought. Like, this guy is sexy as all hell. He's even got a gangster chain. He's, al he's, he's already got a little bit of a accoutrement to give him some street credibility out here. But at the same time, I don't even know if I can cast him. I mean, he does 40 damage. What's not to love about that? I kind of want to take him just on the principle of the thing. But I'm going to go with this guy because I don't think I can... Oh, I can collect all the rewards? Oh. Or at least I... Oh, I get the rewards on the side because we're on a train track. It may... How come I don't have a steampunk cyber kitty in my life? I mean, my cat is just a normal organic cat. You know how much that sucks? I want a cyber cat. That way he could wake me up in the morning for kibbles like he does now, but he'd have like a like a cool voice. You're like, meow. Meow. Uh, let's see here. Upgrade a unit with Rage 5. Purge cards from your deck. Yeah, that sounds like a really good idea. Forget those restore cards. Those things are garbage. I don't want those. I want those gone, like, right now. Upgrade a unit with greater than 6 strength. Alright. Uh, who has greater than 6 strength? You? Yeah. Well, congratulations. Now you have 16. Uh, upgrade a unit with Rage 5. What does Rage do? It two damage per stack. It decreases every turn. Okay. Well, maybe I'll put Rage 5 on him. That sounds pretty good. We'll kind of we'll spread it around a little bit so that our units have more options. I love the customizability, actually. That's pretty sweet. Uh, Barbed Disciples. These spiked foes will make direct attacks more painful. Using spells from afar will let you fight without sacrificing your units. Okay. Sounds like a plan to me, man. He's only got 5 HP, which really sort of worries me. So he's going to take minus 5 on the next combat pass. So, like, really, we kind of want to nuke this guy right here. Friendly Flame giving him a bonus. Get spikes, too. Oh, he doesn't have spikes, too, anymore. So the little guy in the back is basically the beneficiary of the spikes, too. I gotcha. Well, we've played most of our units already, so that's really, really good. That guy's just a tank. He doesn't even have anything. Yeah, I need the spikes to go away. That would be super rad. I'm going to put a regen on him just in case. And we'll beefcake up our second row and our third row. There you go, there you go. And then the regen should get him fixed up a little bit. There we go, another regen right there. Okay, the regen, I will I will amend my statement from, from earlier on. The regen is not that bad. But having five of them, I think, is a bit too much. I think that's overkill. Two to three, max. Ah, there's our bossy boy right there. Guess what? Spikes is annoying, and I don't feel like dealing with it. Go away. Uh, what does this imp do? Apply Rage 3 to friendly units. I wonder if these ever get wider at any point to make things a little bit more tactically interesting. I mean, I'm going to put this little dude. Unit not playable in a pyre. Oh. All right. Well, I mean, he just gave Rage 3 to everybody, so they've got plus 6 attack now, which is pretty disgusting. It's pretty, it's pretty revolting. Oh, God. Straight to the dome piece. I find that to be highly concerning. Uh, continue throwing spells at him. It sucks that he gets to attack first. I don't really care about speeding up combat. I feel pretty okay about what we've got going on right now. No, my little baby imp, you are too adorable for death. All right, so you go right there, obviously. Um, yeah, I'm going to vine grasp you just in case, just to sort of help out. 
Things are not looking good. All I have is regens to play, so that's what I'm going to do. Actually, I think we might have him right here. Yeah, there we go. We got him right before the final air, and we didn't take any damage, too. Very nice. All right, I will collect my spoils. A Molting Imp. Deal five damage to enemy units. When he summoned, like just on the turn that he summoned... Interesting. So he's kind of like a spell that comes with a crappy creature as like a little bit of a bonus. Like he's the crappy plastic toy at the bottom of the crappy flavorless cereal. Okay, maybe not the crappy flavorless cereal, but you get the unit as a garbage toy with like your cinnamon toast crunch of five damage to everything on the map. All right, a welder helper. Apply 15 army or 15 armor to the front friendly unit. Kill a friendly unit of the required type in order to play this card. So he kills an imp, and then I gain three energy and draw a card. I want this little guy right here. I'm going to take him. I got sharpen. Enhance with plus four damage. Apply spikes four. Oh, that's pretty gross. That's pretty good. Uh, steel enhancer. Ooh, I like that. I'm going to take that. The three extra HP is nice. I dig the three extra HP. I do think that there was probably some argument to be made for the four damage, four spikes, but I haven't seen a whole lot of stuff so far. Let's see here. Concealed so we can get a Merchant of Steel, a Hellhorn Banner, and a Concealed Cavern. Or we can get a Hell Vent. We can get Pyre Remains. And we can get a Concealed. We don't really need the heal, and as much as I'd like to duplicate my card, I'm just going to go this way. All right. I don't want to move anything from the deck for right now. Ooh, plus 15 health on a Hearthstone. I love the customizability right here. Just absolutely rad. I love it. Like, I love the way that there's, like, multiple components of every card that you can upgrade. That's such a breath of fresh air. Like, it's not on a track where, like, you just upgrade it to, like, a plus version of the card or, like, a plus plus version. Like, you can actually fundamentally modify. Like, it's brought in, like, some of the pieces and bits of the buffs from Magic the Gathering, which I really, really like. Upgrade a unit with Endless. Ooh, that's pretty good, too. I kind of like it. Oh, his slots are full. Oh, there are slots. I get it. Okay. All right, makes sense. Actually, I don't want that. That's too expensive for what I'm trying to do. Uh, I'll probably save my money for the next store. I mean, we could do Rage 5, I guess. We give him Rage 10. Eh, why not? We'll try out a, a full rage build and see how he does. And we got a Hellhorde banner over here. We got another Horned Warrior. 30 damage, 4 HP. The Consumer of Crowns. So really the goal for him is you've got to get imps into play if you wanted to play him. Three imps need to be in play before you can put the Consumer of Crowns in. I'm going to go with the Horned Warrior for right now. A cave of a thousand eyes seems to awaken as you grow near. From deep within, a voice emerges. Relinquish your life or your wealth, and you may be rewarded if you are deemed worthy. Uh, yeah, I'll offer wealth. Why not? A belch emerges from the shadowy depths. Your tribute appears to disappear into the darkness, but no recognition of worth follows. No, I don't have any offering left. I used up all my coins. I tried. I wanted an artifact really, really badly, but unfortunately, I guess I just don't get an artifact today. The Daedalus. Heavily armored creations protect this ex-professor in his quest to safeguard Seraph the wing and the winged, okay? Ew! They can nullify damage entirely? I've been building for all damage. That's so obnoxious. All right, Daedalus is the strongest boss that you faced yet. He moves between floors freely, but can be attacked if you clear out the enemies on that floor. All right, fair enough. The bomb is triggered and ability and will explode on its turn dealing damage. Mouse over units with the purple trigger icon to see the details of their abilities. Let's see here. Despawn and deal 10 damage to the front unit. Okay. I'm going to get rid of you. Definitely going to put you guys down as, like, my front line. Uh, I'm going to actually save the cards for later. 
I don't want to do anything too crazy for right now. There you go. That's how we clear out a floor right there. A damage shield. Can I not destroy it? No, I say I kind of want that to go away. Uh, I, I don't. I don't really like what's being implied right now from that unit. That unit concerns me. You know, I would love to keep this guy up until he runs out of friendship. But thus far, yeah, give him 15 armor, please. I don't want him to die like at all. I would really prefer that he not wind up dead. I'm gonna throw another regen on my big my big hit or two. Uh, we will start placing units over here. We don't need to do anything with that because it's not like on a floor that matters, so that's good. Very nice. Oh, there's more of them. Okay. I would like you to have some more HP and some more damage. Uh, I would also like... And I'm going to drain like all my mana this turn, trying to get rid of the shield on that thing, just to wipe it out. Daedalus is over there. I could technically, so I can either heal this guy. We've only got six damage going out. Uh, I'm going to do it. No, he's got an armor shield. Never mind. I should have played the train guy up here. Wow, 23 damage to Daedalus. That's crazy. I didn't expect it to hit that hard. Okay, so they're up on the next floor now. Oh my god, there's so many enemies. Okay. I'll be honest, these bombs are becoming kind of obnoxious. Yeah, I'm going to be real, real honest with you about these bombs here. Like, it's getting kind of tough propping up the people on floors when I'm, I'm spending everything casting spells. I mean, we are whittling through enemies pretty good. We just need him to, like... Oh, it's the final wave. Nice. Okay. What's he going to do? Combat in this room continues until all enemies are defeated. Okay. And give me... I think he attacks first, though, right? He does. I want you to be dead. Need you to go out front. You go in the back and add some rage to this whole thing so that we hit a little harder. We should be able to get some really, really tangible damage off right here. Yeah, we did over almost half his health just on that first go. So he's going to move up to the next floor now, and we get another chance to play. Um, Didn't really grab a whole lot. He deals eight damage, which means he's basically going to one-shot whoever's in the front. I'm going to suggest... Man, I need more units. Hopefully we get a really good unit pull next time around. I don't think we're actually going to beat this guy. He might actually... He's tough. They weren't lying when they said he was tough. Uh, give him the Steel Enhancer, I guess. But yeah, that's the best I can do for right now. I just didn't like have enough time to really get units put together because I was so busy getting rid of his bombs. There wasn't a whole lot to do. Yikes. Gross. I would have liked to have done that a different way, but hey, it's our first run. We're learning. We're picking things up along the way. It looks like we're going to get a legendary card or something. A spike of the Hellhorn. So I can give 2 Rage and 2x Armor. Cycle of Life enhance a unit with plus 10 HP. Apply Spikes 4. Channel Song. Draw a unit and enhance it with plus 20, plus 20. Oh my god. It's pretty good. And then we've got a unit draft right here. We've got the Thorned Hollow. It has 15 HP, 5 damage. 
When we summon it, it gains 50 max health. Wow. These are all really, really good. I'm, I'm going to have to take the tank, man. I like the tank idea because we can just buff that up with solid damage. Uh, we can get a major enhancement to our crystal as well. We've got plus one energy per turn. Your pyre gets more damage and more HP. Uh, we can draw an extra card per turn. We can get an extra capacity on each floor. Ooh. Let me get the plus one energy. I think that's what's holding us back the most right now is a lack of energy. I really sincerely do. Uh, I think that lack of energy is really, really stinging us at the moment. Uh, let's take... So we've got Forgotten Boons. We've got Coins. Spy, I think we're going to need the Pyre Health. Yeah, I don't think we're going to have much of a choice. I need the Pyre Health. Uh, so we've got Herzal's Horde. Apply Dazed to an enemy unit when they enter the Pyre Room. Your Pyre gets minus five damage. Well, we just picked up plus 10. Friendly units get plus two strength on kill. Ooh. I'll take that. Let them steamroll a little bit. I will take the 20 health as well, and I'll take the coins. I mean, I had to do what I had to do, all right? Uh, clipped Tormentors. All right, so we've got the trial. So undergo trials for greater risk and reward. Activating the trial makes the battle harder, but you get extra rewards if you win. So I can get a random artifact. Non-boss enemy units restore all health when they move up a floor. Nah, man. I'm not... Eh, this is my first run. I'm trying to play it kind of careful right now. All right. He deals no damage. He deals one damage. Add a self-mutilation card to the top of your draw pile. Curious. So that guy's just got, like, a metric ton of armor. All right, we'll go big turn up front, and we'll kind of open on these dudes. Yeah, I really just need to kind of get through is all that I really need to do. Oh, wow. Don't mind me. Triggers on death, we get 75 gold. Flees from battle if not rooted or dazed. Does it have armor? Easy enough. <laughs> if it doesn't have armor, meh. I think we're fine here. Oh my god, he's so badass. Uh, let's see. Do I want to heal right now? I would like to put in the Branded Warrior, I think. We'll kill that one in the back just to mitigate damage, and I guess we'll throw a heal right there. We got nothing else going on anyways, so why worry about it? things do hit reasonably hard. Let's see here. Triggers when healed. Gain spikes one. Sure, why not? We can prep him. Seems like an okay strategy. Oh, I can put him in the back too. Okay. Probably should have waited for a bigger, beefier, sexier unit, but eh. Really, really wish that I hadn't lost that guy up front. Like, that kind of bums me out. But I think that's just the way that it goes. It's definitely getting harder, though. So wait, we can. Our pyre takes damage, and I have to waste energy on it, huh? Gross. Uh, yeah, you go right there. That's fine. Draw a unit and enhance it, yes. Put that man out front to tank so that he can keep dealing damage. And then we gotta keep running restores on this guy. That's the secret to this dude, is we wanna heal him every chance that we get so that his spikes continue to grow. We need him to be able to soak hits. So I need, like, some kind of big nuke heal in order to play into his strategy right there of holding the line at the top of the train. I like this game. This is a good game. 
This is a really, really unique take. This is like a really, really unique take on, on a deck building strategy game, and I dig it. I dig it a lot. Oh, we got a brief respite. Very nice. Okay. Yeah, that sounds like an okay plan. We can do that. Uh, I do want to purge that. I, I wanted to throw as many rejuvenates on him as I possibly could just to get his HP nice and up. Just keep him ticking upwards for now. The final wave. Oh, yeah, 250 HP on that big bad mamma jamma right there. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's wipe you because I don't want to deal with all of your nonsense. I'm going to heal you just to make sure that you stay up for a little while longer. And we've got no room for that unit right there, so we just got to hang tight for a minute. He's already probably... This guy's not going to make it to the top floor. If he makes it to the top floor, I will be immensely surprised. Like, we, we actually had a really, really good strategy set up this time, and I think it's going to carry us. He's got nine right there. Okay, i got to purge that. Put some regen on you. I wonder if you get a bonus for, like, the further back that you hold them. That'd be kind of nice, is, like, the further you keep them away from your core, uh, you get, like, some kind of bonus or something, like some kind of gold additive, maybe. Yeah, this dude's toast. He's going to get murdered by spikes when he goes up against this dude, especially since I just pulled a ton of rejuvenates and a steel enhancer. This guy is, this guy is definitely minimal. His chances of making it are very, very minimal, despite his pectorals. And there we go. We did take some damage, which is a bummer, so we kind of lost that right there. But we got options. I like this. This actually surprised me. I'll be honest with you. Like, in the world of roguelite deck builders, I kind of roll my eyes now because there's so many of them. Slay the Spire's critical market success has really made it so a lot of people are trying to recreate that. And they end up just being kind of like these hollow copies of Slay the Spire. This right here is its own thing. This right here is fun. And I really enjoyed this title. Everything from the artwork to the design to the strategy of the thing to the variety in the mobs and the additive effects that are on those mobs to the changes that the bosses throw in. I think this game is going to be very, very successful. I will see you all later. Thank you for being here. This game is called Monster Train. My name is Splattercat. I sift through the pile to find what's worthwhile in the world of indie games every single day so you don't have to. Monster Train was up on the block today. You can get it down below in the description. In addition, check out the links for the Twitch stream and also for the Discord channel. We have a community hub, and that community hub will allow you to keep in tune with anything going on, whether or not I have to cancel streams, or whether there's special like community days and stuff happening, that's the place to be. I'll see y'all later, thank you for being here, leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it, and goodbye everyone.